in what has already been a good season for the Southern Ohio Copperheads. It improved for four guys who were nominated to go to this year's All-Star Game in the GLSCL. And Jake, they're all very deserving. It's a lot of, uh, of the best players so far for this team. I think it begins with the, with the pitcher that's going. It's Cody Mizell. That guy has been straight dominant. Yeah, I mean, he comes out of the bullpen in the back end, and, and really he's a guy that can go for a few innings. He's been very good this year for this team. Uh, obviously, over 20 strikeouts in his outings, it seems like he gets two or three every time he goes Every time he goes out there. They put him in some pressure situations, and he's a guy that, you know, he get two strikes on him. He's unstoppable, um, and he's been very good this year, definitely deserving. I'm really excited to play uh, prospect camp. It's a pro-style workout, so I'm, I'm looking forward to doing that and then playing with some of the best guys in this league. It should be fun and it should be a good competition, so I'm looking forward to it. Now, the other three are all position players. It'll be Mike Fish, Matt Glom, and Joe Storino, all of which have, have really helped out. You know, I think you start with Mike Fish. He's a guy that's hit well for the most part, but more than anything, he is a terrific out. Yeah, he's a guy that, you know, very fast on the base pass. I mean, you put him on, and, and he's going to, you know, move up. He's going to be very aggressive. Uh, I think defensively, we've seen some great plays from him, obviously using the speed of the outfield, but the kids get an absolute cannon. Uh, I mean, you know, you know, we've seen many times, I think we've seen twice this year, getting guys down at the plate. Uh, hold runners at third base with his arm. Offensively, he's come a long way. Slu he, you know, he was in a slump out of the gate, uh, and he's really turned it on. You know, of late, they moved him a little bit back in the lineup, but you know, he's been really good ever since then, batting around. I would say over 300 since the move, and he's been very good, and he's just an all-around player. Yeah. So, coach told me yesterday I made the Oscar team, and it was a great honor to hear that. And um, it's going to be a great time. I called my mom right after I found out, and she was very excited. And my whole, my whole family's excited. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, and the last two guys, uh, Storino and Glom, have both uh, some of the middle infielders for this team. They've been pretty solid out in the field, and more than anything, they bring solid bats to the lineup. They both hit above 300. They both have combined for a couple of home runs, a lot of runs driven in, so they're productive guys in that lineup. All four, again, congratulations goes out to them. Yeah, when I found out that I was nominated for the All-Star Game, I was really excited. I let my parents know and everything. They're really excited also. We found it on the bus from the coaches, so everyone found it at the same time. It was pretty cool to hear everyone's reaction for it. And yeah, just really honored to be going to the All-Star Game. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Man, I, first thing I did was I called my mom when I found out, like, no joke. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the guys are giving me crap about it, but I was I was really excited. I mean, I just went out and played, and it got me to the All-Star game. So, <laughs> If you're going to be in Avon, Ohio, it's up near Cleveland uh, on Wednesday, make sure you go check out the game. It's going to be good, and there also will be a prospect camp there. So uh, it's great for all those guys that will be there. But with that being said, he's Jacob Corgan. I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a Copperheads Update.